Amen. Glory be to God. This is the day that the Lord has made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Come on in and share it. Share, share with your family. Share with your friends. Share with your loved ones. I'm trying to get situated. I got all this stuff here. <laughs> Bless him because he's yet good. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Share with your family. Share with your friends. Share with your loved ones. Hallelujah. You're on here today. <laughs> Glory be to God. Hallelujah. If you start messing up on one page, go to the next page. Go to my other Facebook page. I don't know what's wrong with this one. Hallelujah. Amen. God is still good. Amen. He's blessing his people. Amen. He is blessing. He's doing what he does best. I mean, you know, he's taking care of his people. Amen. Can't nobody do you like Jesus can. I don't care what it look like or who come or go. Can't nobody do you like Jesus can. Can't nobody love you. Can't nobody care for you like Jesus can. If you can't get it on this page, go to the next page. I have another Facebook page. Find me. Find me. I'll be there somewhere. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. God is still good. We praise the Lord. Amen for you being here on today. Praise God. I'm coming to a, a, a very serious topic. The time that we're living in. How many of you know that we got to have some faith? We got to trust God. Because that's all we got right now. Amen. We got to trust God. We got to stand on the word of God. No matter what it looked like, no matter what it seemed like, we got to trust God. We are dependent on him to uh, continue to do what needs to be done in our life. We can't make it by ourselves. Thank you for sharing, Co-Pastor. I appreciate it. Amen. If you can't get it, if you keep messing up, go to the other Facebook page. I have another Facebook page. You can find it. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Because it's, it's, I don't know what's wrong, what's going on with Facebook. But anyway, God is still good. Uh, continue to share with your family, friends, your enemies, your frenemies. <laughs> Amen. We're going into the word of God. We're going to the book of Hebrew. Amen. And I think I may teach today. I have the Lord lead me. Amen. Praise God. But we're living in a time now. We better learn how to stretch out on faith. And believe God, no matter what come or what go. Because that's all we have right now is God. Amen. And he has not failed us. And he never will. Amen. Amen. Because he's a God of his word. He's a keeper. He's a deliverer. He's a way maker. He is a burden bearer. Amen. And he would bring us through our storm. Trust God. Know that he is who he say he is. And he's going to bring us through. We're going to go into the book of Hebrew. Chapter 11, amen. And we're going to read some today. Hallelujah, glory be to God. We're going to read some today. We're going to Hebrews chapter 11, and we're going to begin with the, the first verse. Amen. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, it's once again, God, we come to tell you thank you. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you for your love and kindness. We thank you for your patience. We thank you for how you watched over us last night while we slumbered and slept in the image of death. And Lord, you didn't allow the death angel to overtake us. And God, we tell you, thank you. God, we thank you for sparing our life one more time. We thank you for keeping our body healed. Lord, we ask right now to look on the sick and shut in everywhere, the prison bound. Look on the heavy burden, God, in the name of Jesus. Look on the ones in the nursing home. The hallelujah, God, the whatever the case may be. God, God we know that you're a deliverer. You're the same God today, yesterday, and forevermore. And Lord, we ask you right now, God, to search our hearts, Father. Shine a spotlight way down in the weak corners of our soul. And if you find anything that's not like you, we ask you to strip us of it right now. Anything in our life that's in common with the enemy, we ask you to move it. In the mighty name of Jesus, and Lord, we say yes to your will. Yes to your word, God. Speak to our hearts on the day, God. Put bonds behind the cross and let me decrease that you may increase. And Lord, I tell you, thank you right now. 
We give you praise and we give you glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Send that anointing that's going to make teaching easy. Send that anointing that's going to make preaching easy. Lord, send your Shekinah glory in the airways, O oh God, in the midst right now. Oh, God, to stir up our faith, to, to build our faith, God, in the name of Jesus. We give you praise and we give you glory in Jesus' name. And good afternoon, Ella Payton. Hello, Apostle Darton. Amen, Co-Pastor Rich. Amen. Glory to God. Lord, amen. I thank God for you being on here. I want you to continue to share. Tag somebody. Let them know that we're on. And like I said, if you, if you keep having the the um, ins and outs or whatever, the freezing or whatever, go to my other page. And it's on there. Uh, it's the same name, Alice Barnes. Amen. Praise God. We're going into the Word of God, Hebrews chapter 11. I'm reading from my Spiritual Warfare Bible. Praise the Lord. Amen. It says, now faith. And you see my topic is, where is your now faith? Not your yesterday faith, but where is your now faith? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Where is that faith What that, that you got right now that you believe in God for? No matter what comes or what goes, no matter how many times it looks like it's not going to happen. If God said it, it's going to happen. If he promised it to you, he's going to do exactly what he said he's going to do. So you got to trust God. Glory be to God. Praise the Lord. So we got to know that now faith, he said, now faith, now faith, not yesterday's faith, but now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Amen. Glory be to God. We got to trust God. Now faith. Glory be to God. We're not walking by what we see. Glory be to God. We're not walking by what we see. We're not walking by what we feel, but we're walking by what we believe. And we believe the report of the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. We believe the report of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. The word said, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. For by it the men of old obtain a good report. Glory to God. Y'all, I'm trying to get this other uh, screen on. Praise the Lord. Praise God. They obtain a good report. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. By faith we understand. Praise the Lord. By faith we understand. That the universe was framed by the word of God so that things that are seen were not made of things which are visible. He made something out of nothing. He spoke the word and, and everything came into existence. Amen. We, he said the, the word, the, the word, the things that are, were are seen were not made out of things that are visible. He spoke the word. There was nothing. The, word, the, the earth was void. There was nothing there. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. He spoke the word. Praise God. By faith, Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain offered. Through this, he was approved as righteous with God testifying concerning his gifts. He still speaks through his faith, though he is dead. By faith, Enoch was taken to heaven so that he would not see death. He was not found because God took him away. He was translated. Glory be to God. He had his commendation that he pleased God. And without faith, it's impossible. It is impossible to please God. For he who comes to God must believe that he, is, he exists and that he is rewarder of them that diligently seek him. By faith, Noah, being divinely warned about things not yet seen, moved with God in the fear, prepared an ark to save his family by which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteous that comes by faith. They, a lot of these things, they're talking about the, the old, the, the, the patriots of faith. Amen. Glory to God. He's talking about, amen, praise God, the, the uh, amen, glory to God. He's talking about, the triumphs of faith. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out into a place where he would later receive an inheritance. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. 
Hallelujah. He went out not knowing where he was going. By faith he dwelt in the promised land, as in a foreign land, dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs of the same promise. For he was looking for a city which has foundation, whose builders and, and, and foundation and maker is God. He wasn't looking for a building made with man's hand. He was looking for that heavenly building. He was living to live again. He was working. He was doing to live again, live in a building that's not made by man's hand, but made by God. This is what he was working for. By faith, Sarah herself also received the ability to conceive seed, and she bore a child when she was past the age because she judged him faithful who had promised. Therefore, from one man who was as good as dead sprang so many, a multitude as the stars of the sky and in number as the sand by the seashore. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. By faith. Because God said it. He's the same God today, yesterday, and forevermore. If he said it, he's going to do it. How many know he's going to bring it to pass? If he said it, he's going to do it. You got to believe what God said. I don't care what God has promised you, what he has spoken that he was going to do into your life. If you believe it, it's a done deal. I don't care how many times the enemy come to try to discourage you. You got to know that God is going to do what he said he's going to do. These all died in faith, not having received the promise, but having seen them from afar off, were assured of them, embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. Those who say such things declare plainly that they are looking for a homeland, and certainly if, it, if they had been thinking of the country out of which they came, they might have not had the opportunity to return, but they desire a better country. That is what a heavenly home. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city. He, Jesus said, I go away to prepare a place for you that where I am, that ye may be also. He said, in my father's house are many mansions. Glory be to God. So he went to prepare a place for us. So we got to stand and we're, we're living. This is not our home. We're strangers passing through. Amen. Amen. We're just strangers. Amen. Glory to God. But we got another building not made by man's hand. By faith, Abraham, when he was tested, offered up Isaac. And he who had received the promise offered up his only begotten son. Of him, God said, through Isaac shall your seed be named. He reasoned that God was able to raise him up even from the dead, from which he indeed received him in a figurative sense. By faith, Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. By faith, Jacob, when he was dying, blessed each of his sons of Joseph and worshiped while leaning on the top of his staff. By faith, Joseph, when he was dying, mentioned, check this out, Joseph mentioned the exodus of the children of Israel and gave instructions concerning his bones. He saw this. He saw this was going to happen. He saw that they was going to be delivered from under the hands of Pharaoh. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hidden by his parents for three months because they saw that he was beautiful and they were not afraid of the king. They weren't afraid of Pharaoh. They wasn't afraid of the king command. By faith, Moses, when he became of age, refused to be called. Amen. He refused to be called, to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a time. He esteemed the reproach of Christ as greater riches than the treasures in Egypt. For he looked to the reward. By faith, he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king. He endured by looking to him who is invisible. He was looking to God. He won't look into man. We got to learn how to look to the hills. We got to learn how to look to God for what we need, no matter what it is. No matter what it looks like, we got to learn how to look to God for our healing, for our deliverance, for our whatever. We're, we're seeking God for. We got to trust him and believe that he's going to do it. By faith, he forsook Egypt, 
not fearing the wrath of the creed, he endured by looking to him who was invisible by faith. He kept the Passover and the sprinkling of the blood, lest the one who destroyed the firstborn touch them. By faith, they passed through the Red Sea as on dry land, which the Egyptians attempted to do, but were drowned. By faith, the walls of Jericho fell down after they were in circle for seven days. By faith, the prostitute, Rahab, when she received the spies with peace, did not perish with those who didn't believe. By faith. And, and what more shall I say? For a time, for a time she will fall, will fail me to tell of Gideon, Barak, Samson, Japheth, of David and Samuel, and the prophets who thought, who through faith subdued kingdoms, administered justice, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, became valiant in fighting, turned the armies of, of foreign enemies to flight. Women received their dead, raised to life again. Others were tortured and did not accept deliverance, so they might obtain a better resurrection. Still others had trials of mocking and scourging, and even chains and imprisonment. But they yet still, they believed God. They went through these things. They did not deny God. They did not deny their faith in God. They trusted God even through it all. They were stoned, they were sown in two, were tempted with, with slain with the sword. They wandered around in sheepskin and goatskin, while destitute, afflicted, and tormented. The world was not worthy of them. They wandered in deserts and mountains and dens and caves of the earth. These all have obtained a good report through faith, but they did not receive the promise, for God provided something better for us, so that with us they would be made perfect. Amen. These are some of the patriarchs. These are some of the patriarchs and some of the things that they went through. But I want to come and to try to stir up your faith, stir up your heart, stir up your mind, to help you to build your faith and trust God. Yes, you've been praying. Yes, you've been crying out to God for certain things. But guess what? He's the same God. He's the same God today, yesterday, and forevermore. He's the same God that delivered Daniel from the lion's den. He's the same God, hallelujah, that made a... a uh, hallelujah, they gave uh, 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 Abraham, amen, amen, glory to God. Whenever he offered up, he was a ram in the bush. He saw, God saw the faith that he had. He was willing to give up his own son. God, and he, he got a ram. He said, look over there in the bush. There was a ram in the bush. There was a ram stuck in the thicket, amen. But he trusted, he, amen, he trusted God. Where is your now faith? Not your yesterday faith. The word said now faith is the substance of things hoped for. You don't see it. You don't even know where it's coming from. You don't know how you're going to make ends meet. You don't know how your body's going to be healed. You don't know how the pain is going to move. Glory be to God. You went to the doctor and the doctor keeps saying this and saying that. And the pain is, but you got to trust God. He said, I am the Lord thy God that healeth thee. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. He said, I am. Praise God. Glory be to God. The Lord thy God, the healer thee. Faith. Listen. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Faith. Faith is confidence in the trustworthiness of God. You Either you trust him or you don't trust him. Praise God. We talk about faith. We try to tell people about faith. But where is your faith? Where is your now faith? Where is your faith that you try to tell everybody else about? When you're going through your storms, when you're going through your trials, amen, praise God. Where is your faith? Praise God. Sometimes people be going through some stuff and they fold because they don't know how what the outcome is going to be. You ain't supposed to know. God knows what the outcome is going to be. He knows exactly what the outcome is going to be. He knows, amen, glory to God, hallelujah, how you're going to come through your storm, how you're going to come through your test. He already knows this. But he just wants you to trust him. He wants you to believe that he's going to bring you through. Glory be to God. I don't know what's happened with the Facebook, but like I said, you can go to my other page. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. And then if you can't get it there, amen. Praise God. I'll download it on YouTube. You can go to YouTube. Amen. But I'm talking about faith today. Where is your faith? You got to trust God. 
We are living in a time, amen, people of the saints that God, the body, amen, is going through so much. They're going through so many trials, amen. The enemy is fighting them tooth and left and right, amen. But you got to have trust in God. You got to trust God. You know, the saints used to sing the song many years ago, I will trust in the Lord until I die. I will stay on the battlefield. Hallelujah. I'm going to trust him. Praise God. Hallelujah. Trust God. Trust God that God is going to see you through, that God is going to bring you through. It's the conviction that what God says is true and that what he promised will come to pass. A promise is a promise. If God promised you something, you can bank on it. He's going to do exactly what he said he's going to do. He's going to bring the past. But where is your now faith? Where is your now faith? Where, where is your now faith that you're trusting God to do what he said he's going to do? Where is your now faith? Not your yesterday's faith, not your Sunday's faith, but your right now faith. Where is your now faith? God's going to do it. I don't know what you're praying for. I don't know what you're seeking God for. But what it is, hold on to God's unchanging hand. It's going to come to pass. But you got to trust God. You got to believe that God is going to bring it, bring it to pass. You got to believe that he's going to bring it, bring you through it. He got to, he got to bring you through to get to your destiny. Hallelujah. You got to go through, you got to go through the storms. You got to go through the test. Trust God. Amen. These people, these patriots here, they trusted God. They believe God for what he said he was going to do. They believe him. They took him at his word. Glory to God. No, even though they, they, their life was extinct, guess what? They still trust God. They still stood on the word of God. They still believed that God was going to bring them through. They still knew that God was going to bring them through. They, they refused to take down. They refused to fold. They refused to compromise. We're living in a time now, people God, we can't afford to compromise. We can't afford to compromise. I don't care how many times the enemy wants you to compromise. Don't compromise. Don't fall in. If God said it, believe it, stand on it, and keep it moving. Praise God, because he is a God of his word. If he said it, he's going to do it. If he spoke, he's going to bring it to pass. you got to believe what God says. God is not a God that he should lie, nor the son of man he should repent. If he said he's going to do it, he's going to do it. But we got to trust God. We got to continue to believe God. We got to continue to stand on the word of God and what he said he's going to do. Faith must have some revelation from God. Some promise of God at its foundation. It's not a leap in the dark. It demands the surest evidence in the universe and find it in the word of God. Know that God is going to do what he said he's going to do. Know that God is going to bring you out. Know that God is going to work this thing out. Know that God is on your side. He has never left you. I, I, I got you. He's the same God today, yesterday, and evermore. He's the same God that brought you through that. And he's going and the song said, he brought me through this and he brought me through that. And I'm grateful. He has never checked yourself out. Think about it. has he ever failed? Has he yet failed you? Has he failed you yet? He's not a fit. There is no failure in God. Amen. We got to walk by faith and not by sight. Where is your now faith? Faith begins where possibilities end. If it's possible, then there's no glory for God in it. Praise God. When you see things, it seems like it's impossible. That's when God, and you got to step out on your faith and believe God. God, I, I don't see how it's going to happen, but God, I'm believing you. I don't see how this is going to work, but I'm believing you. Oh, God, I don't see how I'm going to get that position, but God, I trust you. Glory be to God. You got to trust God. You got to believe God. We got we we talk a lot. Action speaks louder than words. We got to learn how to walk that thing. Thank you, Lord, for going to that page. Amen. We got to believe God. We got to trust and know that God is going to bring us through it. He's going to bring us through the storm. Amen. There are difficulties and problems in the life of faith. God tests our faith in crucial to see. If it's genuine, he allow you to go through some things to see how genuine your faith is, to see how much you really trust him. You got to trust God. Hallelujah. Well, God, I need you to do this. Amen. Praise God. We keep asking for the same thing. But do you believe him when you ask him? Praise God. Do you believe that God is going to do it? Do you believe that he's going to bring you through? Do you believe he's going to work it out? Do you believe he's going to deliver you? Do, hallelujah. Do you believe it? 
Ah, do, do you believe that God is going to come to your rescue? He will come. We got to just trust him. And nine times out of ten, I guarantee you, before God do what he does, the enemy is going to come to try to bring in doubt. But you got to trust God. At the end of the day, you still got to trust God. Hallelujah. You still got to trust God and know that God is going to do what he said he's going to do. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Verse 2, because they walk by faith and not by sight, the old word has received divine approval. They walk by faith. They, don't, they didn't see it, but they believe God. If God said it, they believed it. And this is the time that we're living in. If God said it, you got to believe it. Praise God. If you go get anything, because without faith, it's impossible to please God. Hallelujah. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. He said, by, 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 because they walk by faith and not by sight. The Old Testament worthy received divine approval. The rest of this chapter is illustrate how God has borne witness to them. They walk by faith. There's us a faith walk. We're living in time. We 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 doing a faith walk now, people of God. Hallelujah. We don't see it, but like, God, I trust you. Hallelujah. It seems like it's not going to happen, but God, I trust you. Seem like the way is not going to be made, but God, I trust you. Don't know how it's going to come, but God, I trust you. God, I don't know when when I'm getting the healing from this, but God, I trust you. His word don't lie. He said by his stripes. We are healed. Not only are we healed physically, but we are healed spiritually as well. He said, by my stripes, his stripes were not taken in vain. He didn't take those stripes across his back for you and me in vain. He did it because he loved us. We got to believe God. No matter what it looked like, no matter how bad it may look, you got to trust God. Don't you give up on God. Guess what? Because he won't give up on you. Hallelujah. Man, there are things that we can, we can stop ourselves, but there are things that we got to believe that God is going to deliver us from. Praise God. God is a deliverer of those that want to be delivered. God is a healer of those that want to be healed. God is a way maker for those that need a way to be made in their life. Oh, yes, he is. Amen. He will come through every time. He will do what he said he's going to do. But you got to trust him. We can put more trust in man than we're doing God. We put more trust in jobs than we're doing God. We put more trust in the president than we're doing God. We got to trust God. He's over the president. He's over Biden. He's over all these people. Amen. We got to trust him. Man is limited. Man is limited to what they can do. Faith provides us with the only fact account of creation. God is the only one who was there. When creation was made, when he made the earth, he was the only one there. He tells us how it happened. We believe his word, and thus we know. The conception of God pre to matter, and by his fire calling, it came into existence. The world came into, by his presence, by him speaking the word, it came into existence. It's simply accepted by an act of faith. It came into existence. By faith, we understand seeing is believing. The world says, this is what the world says. The world says seeing is believing. God says believing is seeing. <laughs> Y'all, did, did you get that? Did, did you get that? He said that the world said seeing is believing. In other words, I got to see it to believe it. But God said, you got to believe it before you can see it. Ah, God, I thank you. And, and, and this is where we're at. This is where we're at now. We got to believe it before we can see it. Hallelujah. Because if you see it before you believe it, that ain't faith. Oh, my God. We got to trust God. Hallelujah. Amen. Again, it says, the world says, seeing is believing. But God said, believing is seeing. It's seeing, not seeing, but seeing. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Jesus said to Martha, did I say to you that if you would believe, if you could just believe that you would see your brother again? Didn't I say that? He told Martha, didn't I? If you just believe, because they, they begin to tell him, look, he'd been dead for four days and he began to stink. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. So they could not see him, right? But, but Jesus did not tell you if you believe, you will see him again. 
They had to believe what he said. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. The Apostle John wrote, these things I have written you who believe that you may know. You got to believe this stuff. You got to believe what the word of God said. It's not enough to quote the scripture and don't believe it. People can quote the scripture and don't believe nothing. People can quote the scripture you day in and day out, but do they believe it? Are they walking by faith? Are they walking by what they believe? In spiritual matters, faith, faith precedes understanding. In the spiritual life, faith precedes understanding. Glory be to God. The words, the world was framed by the word. God spoke and matter came into being. When God spoke the word, then guess what happened? The world came into existence. This agrees perfectly with man's discovery that matter is essentially energy. When God spoke, there was a flow of energy in the form of sound waves. When God spoke, when God spoke, there was a flow of energy in the, in the form of sound waves. There was these were transformed into matter, and the world began to be, sprang into being. God had this spirit. God spoke the word. He spoke it into existence. The things which are seen were not made out of things that were visible. The things, the things which are seen were not made out of things that are visible. Oh. Energy is invisible. So are atoms and molecules, gases to the naked eye, yet in the combination they become visible. The fact that creation it has set forth here is in Hebrews 7 and 3 is impeachable. It has never been improved and never will. Oh, my God. Adam and Eve are bypassed in the honor roll of faith when Eve had to decide whether God or Satan was telling the truth. She decided that Satan was. She should have believed what he said. If he said, don't touch that tree, that's what he means. He had to believe God. He said, if you do that, that you'll surely die. She had to believe that. But because she stood in the face of Satan, he didn't make her eat off that tree. He did not make her eat off that tree. He enticed her. He enticed her. Hallelujah. When you hang around something too long that you know is not right, hallelujah, amen. Your, if you're not where you need to be in God, your flesh is going to get weak and you're going to yield to it. And this is what happened to her. He, in, he enticed her. He didn't make her do it. But the more he talked, he convinced her. Hallelujah. And that's what she said. That's when she ate the fruit off the tree. He didn't make her, but she believed at the point. She began to believe Satan more than she believed God. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. When Eve, hallelujah, had to decide whether God or Satan was telling the truth, she decided what that Satan was. However, this does not deny that they were subsequently saved by faith as, as pictured by the coat of skin. They were saved by faith. They were covered. Hallelujah. God covered them at the end. However, Abel... Oh, glory to God. Abel must have had some revelation that sinful man can approach God only on the grounds of shedded blood. Praise God. God, he, he thank you for your works. Uh, but it's by faith that Abel was able. He accepted his, his gift. Amen. He accepted Abel's gift by because by, Abel had faith in God. Cain was just doing, he was all about his good work. Ah, hallelujah. Amen. Perhaps, perhaps he learned this from his parents who were restored to a fellowship with God only after he had clothed them with the skins of animals. At any time, he exhibited faith by approaching God with the blood of a sacrifice. Cain's sacrifice was one of vegetables or fruit and was and, and therefore bloodless. Cain's sacrifice was a, one of vegetables or fruit and was therefore bloodless. Abel illustrate the truth of salvation by grace through faith. He believed God. He had faith in God. Your works is not going to save you. You've been morally good, morally good. That's not going to save you. You But your faith in God, your faith, You yes, you got to do the right thing. Yes, you got to live according to the word of God. Yes, you have. Hallelujah. But where is your now faith? If you want to please God, if you want to be pleasing in the sight of God, I trust God, believe God, walk out on that now faith. Not yesterday, but walk out on that now faith. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Abel illustrate the truth of salvation 
by grace through faith. Cain pictured man's futile attempt to save himself by good works. People feel like, oh, I do this here and I do that there. Hello, Ethiopia, hey, Miss Ree. Amen. Glory to God. I do this and I, I did. No, 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 no. It's not all about you. It's, it's just your reasonable service. But your faith is what's going to help you to make it in. You believe in God, trusting God for whatever you believe in him for. That's what's going to help you to make it in. Praise God. Your works is not going to help you make it in. Cain, was he pictured his futile attempt to save himself by good works. That did not do it. But Abel had faith in God. He sacrificed. He had he sacrificed. Amen. He had faith in God. He had truth and salvation by grace through faith. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. He points out that it was not the person, the ex of Abel, that God looked at and counted him right, but the excess of sacrifice that he brought and his faith in it. The sacrifice. The sacrifice that Abel did. And the faith that he had in God. That's what did it for him. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And so, and so. It was with us, we are not justified because of our character of good works, but solely because of the excellence of the sacrifice of Christ, of our acceptance of him. We got to accept him. We got to believe what he says. We got to stand on what he says. We don't, and we can't afford to just talk this thing. We got to believe this thing. We got to believe. If God said it, Stand on it. Don't you dare let the devil talk you out of your blessing. Don't you let the devil talk you out of your salvation and tell you, what? why are you doing this? You going through this and you going through that. You did better before you got saved. No, 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 no. God is a keeper. Uh, trust God to keep you. Lord, I can't help it. I can't. No, no. Trust God to keep you. Not only trust it from your lips, trust it from your heart. God, I believe you. I trust you. Sometimes man don't understand you, but you trust God anyway. You stand on the word of God. You stand what God has said to you. You, you stand on what the word of God says. Abel was killed by Cain because law hates grace. Cain, hallelujah, glory to God. Cain was jealous. He was jealous. Self-righteous man hates the truth that he cannot save himself. And that he must cast himself on the love and mercy of God. Abel was killed by Cain. Because what? Because law hates grace. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God is doing what needs to be done in your life. Praise God. How, I don't care what nobody else is doing. You better do what's right. You held accountable to do what's right. But Abel's testimony is perpetuated. Abel had a testimony. Through his faith, he still speaks. There is a sense in which faith enables a man's vocal cords to go on functioning long after his body is lying in the grave. Hallelujah. Your life, your life speaks for you. Praise God. Your life speaks for you. Praise God. Continue to, continue to trust God. Continue to stand on the word of God. Continue to do what God has called you to do. Continue to walk holy. Continue to live holy. Continue to hold on to God's unchanging hand. Hallelujah. Yes, it gets rough sometimes, but ask God, God, help me. I need some strength to be able to hold on just a little while long. God, help me. I need you to help me to go through the storm. I need you to help me to go through this test. And Lord, in the process of me going through, God, help me not to complain. God, help me to tell, tell you thank you, even in the midst of my storm. Hallelujah. God, help me to give you a yet praise right in the midst of my trial. Oh, God, help me, Lord. I can't do it by myself. I, I, I believe you, God. I believe you, God. Lord, see like the walls are caving in. God, help me. I see like the flood of the enemy is flooding. Things are just coming from the left and the right from the front. God, help me. I trust you, God. He won't put no more on us than we can bear. Ah, God. He will see you through. We got to trust him. Lord, I just can't take it no more. I've been through so much, God. I don't know. I, my hand is full. I just got so much going on. God, I feel like I'm about to lose my mind. Trust God. That's the trick of the enemy. Trust God. Keep your mind steady. Keep your mind on God. Keep a praise in your heart. Lord, I thank you for what you're getting ready to do. Lord, I thank you that you're going to bring me through. God, I thank you you're going to see me through the test. God, I thank you because you're going to make me strong. God, I thank you. Glory be to God, even in the midst of your storm, 
when the tornado is coming in the midst of your tornado god i thank you Ah, the wind is blowing, amen, left and right. You're tossed and turned. Praise God, don't know what to do. Trust God. Ah, well, step, step out on that faith. Trust God. But Abel's testimony is perpetuated. Praise God. Sometime during his lifetime, Enoch had received a promise from God that he would go to heaven without dying. How Enoch had a testimony. Praise God, how they, that he pleased God. He didn't die. He was translated. He was caught up. They looked for him and he was gone. Praise God. You got to live a life. Amen. Praise God. I see no way that he was translated. God did this. Amen. He caught up to him without the, up to that time. Everyone had died sooner or later. Up until then, everyone had died sooner or later. <coughs> there was no record of anyone ever being taken away without dying. But God, there was a but God, but when, and right here, but when God make you a promise, I don't care what he has promised you, amen, you know what God has spoken to your life, you know what the Lord has used your leader to, to speak into your life, believe it. Stand on that word. God, I trust you, God. I don't know how you, but I thank you, God. Amen. Enoch, believe God. Enoch trust God. Enoch obey God. Enoch walk by faith. Enoch, but God promised, and Enoch believed. God promised him that he wouldn't see the, that he wouldn't see death. And because he believed God, he was translated. He was caught up. Amen. He didn't see death. God made him that promise. Hallelujah. But God promised Enoch that it was the most sane, rational thing that Enoch could do. What is more reasonable than the creature should believe his creator. We got to believe God. We're the creature. We got to believe our creator. God is just awesome. He's so loving. He's a, oh, he's just so good. Oh, he's just so merciful. He's just so kind. Hallelujah. He's such an on time God. He's a God of his word. He will bless you. He will bring you through it. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And so it happened. Enoch walked with the invisible God for 300 years. Enoch walked with him for 300 years. Woo! And then he walked into eternity. Ah, he obeyed God. He trusted God. He believed God. He had faith in what God said. Hallelujah. The word said he walked with him 300 years. And God had made him that promise. He didn't know where God, but God made him that promise, and God stood faith on fast on his promise. He he took him away. He was caught up. Glory to God. He, and then he walked into eternity. Oh, glory be to God. Before he was taken, he had his testimony. What did he please God? What is your testimony? Do you can you say that I'm pleasing God? That I'm doing what God has called me to do? Am I walk, that I'm walking by faith and not by sight? That I'm I'm walking in that now faith? Do you have that testimony? The, uh, do you have the testimony that you believe God's word? Ah, glory be to God, Hallelujah! Do you have that testimony? Glory be to God. Before he was taken up, he had the testimony that he believed God. He trusts God. He pleased God. The life of faith always pleases God. He loves to be trusted. God wants us to trust him. He loves it when we trust him. But we don't depend on somebody else, depend on man, depend on job, depend on family. He loves it when we, we depend on him. When we, we got to go to him for something. He loves it. Oh, and, and when we go to him and, and when we believe that he's going to do what we ask him to do, oh, he just loves that. Ah, glory be to God. Oh, my God. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. Without faith, no amount of good works can compensate for the lack of faith. No good works. Is good. It can't compensate for the lack of faith. Ah, glory be to God. After all is said and done, when a man refused to believe God, listen, when a man refused to believe God, Guess what? He's calling God a liar. Because God is not a man that he shall lie, nor the son of man he shall repent. If you believe God, you better believe God. I don't care come hell or high water, you better believe God. If he said he's going to do it, you better take him at his word. You better believe. If he said he's going to deliver, you better believe. If God said, I'm going to bring you through it, you got to believe it. Ah, 
Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. My God from Zion. We got to believe God. Hallelujah. When we don't believe God, we just say, God, you ain't going to do what you said you're going to do. You call a God a lie. God is not a God. He should lie. If he said he's going to do it, if he spoke it, he's going to bring it to pass. A promise is a promise. Man might make you a promise, and they might not, they might not come to, come up to par and do it. They, they may come up with all kinds of excuses for the reason that they didn't do it. But if God promised you something, you can bank on it. Hallelujah, glory to God. If God promised you that he's going to bring you out, trust him. If he promised you that he's going to make a way, trust God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Stand on that faith. Oh, my God. Faith is just trusting God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. He who does not believe God, my God, has made him a liar. Now, do you believe God or do you not believe God? Do you believe that God is going to bring you through? Do you believe God is going to deliver? Do you believe that God is going to heal? Do you believe that God is going to work things out? Do you believe Do you believe Do you believe that He's going to come to your rescue? Holly, do you believe that God is going to do what He said? Do you believe His word? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Do you believe God? Do you trust God? Hallelujah. Do you believe that his word is right, right by itself? <clears throat> Everything is going to go down <clears throat> but the word of God. The word of God is going to stand when everything else goes down. He said before one jot a tittle of my word fell, he said heaven and earth will pass away. So that lets me know that whatever that word said, I can stand on that word. Oh, God from Zion. Praise God. We got to trust God. Hallelujah. Praise God. He who does not believe God has made him lie. And how can God be pleased, can be pleased by people who call him lie? How can he be pleased by people? And you're going to call him a liar. God said, I'm going to bless you. And if it don't come to right then, you don't believe it. It ain't in your timing. It's in God's timing. We got to wait on God. We got to believe God. We got to take him at his word. If God said, you already healed, amen, praise God, praise God, the pain going to get worse before you get to see the manifest, manifestation of the healing, because that's the way the enemy works. But if God said it, it's going to happen. Believe God. God, I'm telling you, God is not a God that he shall lie, nor the son of man he shall repent. You got to believe God. Trust God. Work on, check out your faith. You got to, you better check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check your faith. Hallelujah. People talk about, I believe God. Gonna do. No, you don't. Amen. Praise God. Because if you did, you walk out on it. You step out on faith. You believe God. You will trust God. Even when it looks dark. Woo. Like it's not going to move. You still trust God. Ah, you won't get in your little corner and say, oh, Lord, oh, no. no, 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 no. You say, God, I thank you. Don't know when you're going to do it, but God, I thank you. God, you said all things work together for my good. And for those that are called according to your purpose. And I trust you, God. I'm, I'm standing on your word. I don't see how it's going to work out for my good, but God, I trust you. I'm standing on your word. I trust your word, God. Hallelujah, my God from Zion. Praise God. Faith is the only thing that gives God his proper place and puts man in his place too. It glorifies God exceedingly because it proves that we have more confidence in his eyesight that in our own. Uh, we can't see it, but, we, but God can see. God can see what he's going to do. God, he holds your future. He knows what he has planned for you. He, got, he can see, amen, what we can't see. We don't see it, but God knows. But we got to believe God. We got to trust him. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Glory to God. We got to trust him. He, because what we have more confidence in his eyesight when we trust God, when we believe God, when we stand on the word of God, we have more confidence in God's eyesight than in our own. Because we don't even, with our little eyesight, even with glasses, we don't, we can't even see. <laughs> Hallelujah. But we trust, trust you. I trust you to work things out on my behalf. When man say no, God can walk in and say yes. When man said it can't be done, God said, yes, it can. Ah, 
But we got to trust God. We can't give up. Don't you give up, people. Guess it. Don't give up. Because what? He's not going to give up on you. Faith not only believes that God exists, but it also trusts him to reward those who diligently seek him. Hallelujah. He will reward those that diligently, faithfully seek him. Hallelujah. Trust God. He's going to do. Amen. He, gonna, he will bless you with your need. He will supply your every need. But guess what? He'll give you some of your wants too. But you got to trust him. You got to believe him. You got to walk out on faith and not by sight. My God, hallelujah. There is nothing about God that makes it impossible for men to believe. The difficulty is all with the human will. There is nothing. I don't care from A to Z. There is nothing too hard for God. I don't care what you're dealing with. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what nobody said. I don't care how they look at you. I don't care how they treat you. I don't care what they say. You can't have this or you can't get that. There's nothing too hard for God. God can do the impossible, but you got to trust him. You got to believe him. We know there's nothing too hard for God. Woo! Praise God. But in our little pea brain, we can't even see how it's going to happen. You ain't supposed to see. Uh, it's, it's, it's up to God to do the, do the work. It's up to us to trust him and believe that he's going to do it. Hallelujah. We're not walking by what we see. We're walking by what we believe. Ah, praise God, hallelujah. We walk about what we believe, and we're supposed to believe the report of the Lord. We are to believe the report of the Lord. What God said, if God said it, I believe that settles it. Amen. Glory to God. Well, you know, ma'am, I don't see, I mean, your score is this, and score is that. God said, I believe, and that settles it. Glory be to God. Well, you know, I understand what you're saying, but I don't see how you're going to, if God said it, I believe, and that settles it. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Uh, well, ma'am, I don't see how you can get this car because uh, you, you, your, your score is, is 300. Uh, God, I thank you for my car. Hallelujah. Praise God. God, God will bless you. Just like, That's the kind of God he is. Oh, my God, I thank you. God is just awesome. He's just awesome right by himself. But we got to trust him. God, we got to trust God and know that God is able to do what needs to be done. He hasn't failed us yet. We know that without faith, it's impossible to please God. And let's look at verse 7. He talk about the faith of Noah. Now, Noah had to have some faith. Whenever God told him, you go and you, uh, this is going to rain. It's going to rain, Noah. Uh, get, your, get those animals in, in this ark. Get, uh, I need you to build an ark. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because it's going to rain. There's no rain clouds in the sky. Hallelujah. But he said, listen, he said, it's going to rain. The faith of Noah was based on God's warning that he was going to destroy the world with a flood. There had never been a flood in human experience. In fact, there is some reason to believe that there have never been rain, had never been rainfall up until that time. But God said, what? It's going to rain, Noah. It's going to rain. And I need you to build an ark. Noah believed God and built an ark. He trusted God. an ark. He built an ark. Even though he was probably very far from navigable waters, doubtless he was the butt of many a joke. They laughed at him. Why is he doing that? Why is he building an ark? Why is he wasting his time doing it? It ain't, gonna, it ain't raining nowhere. We ain't had no rain nowhere. It not, they, they picked at him. But he kept on doing. He kept on no matter what they said or how they ridiculed him. How they picked at him, he kept on doing what God told him to do. He kept on building the ark. Glory be to God. Because he had faith. He trusted God. He believed God. He took God at his word. Glory be to God. Noah believed God and built the ark. But Noah's faith was rewarded. His whole household was saved. Ah, oh, can you imagine how the people felt after they be, after he had closed the ark, after he got all the animals in and his family in, and after he closed the ark? And, and I read, glory to God, hallelujah, that he began to warn them, but they didn't want to listen. They didn't want to listen. They picked at him. You little ball head man, what, what are you doing? It ain't going to rain. But yet still, Noah kept on. This is where you got to be. You got to keep on doing, keep on trusting God. When they tell you, you're crazy. Yeah, I wouldn't do it. No, no, you got to trust God. You keep your faith in God. Your trust in God. 
Glory be to God. Hallelujah. His whole household would say the world was condemned by his life and testimony. And he became heir of the righteousness, which is received on the basis of faith. Hallelujah. He stepped out on faith because God said so. There was so much sin. There was so much going on in the land. He said, I'm getting ready to destroy this world. I'm getting ready to destroy it with water. I'm getting ready to cause a flood to come through here. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Noah stepped out on faith. What are you waiting on? Where is your now faith? He's the same God that he was back then. He has not changed. He said, I'm the same God today, yesterday, and forevermore. Perhaps many of the early Jewish Christians to whom this letter was written often wonder why, if, if they were right, that they were such a small minority. Noah steps out from the pages of the Old Testament to remind them that in his day, only eight people were right. And all the rest of the world perished in the flood. Ah, only eight people. That's the first. Do you remember the first time? Eight people <coughs> was the only one that was right. Everybody else died in the flood. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Where is your faith? Where is your now faith? Ah, oh, glory be to God. Where is your now faith? Trust God. Believe God that he's going to do what he's saying. Look through the eyes of God. Let, see through his eyesight, not your own eyesight. Because with your own eyesight, you can't see nothing. But through the eyes of God. He's going to do what he said he's going to do. He's going to move on your behalf. He's going to work things out. My God from Zion. We got to trust God at the end of the day. That's all we have left. We got to trust God. Oh, my God from Zion. Hallelujah. Don't you dare let doubt come in. Praise God. Don't ever doubt God. Hallelujah. Amen. Because he is a God of his word. If he, God knows if he said he's going to do it. Praise God. He is a God of his, his word. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. We got to trust God. And the enemy is trying. That's one of the tricks of the enemy. That's one of the strategies of the enemy to bring doubt in the minds of God people. But we got to trust God. We got to believe God. No matter what it looks like, we got to trust God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Don't you let him make you shake in your boots. You believe God. Stand on that word. Know that God is going to bring you through. I don't, I don't see how to make ends meet. I ain't got this. I ain't got it. Trust God. He on the cow on a thousand hills. Huh? David said, well, David said, if I was hungry, I wouldn't tell a soul. Amen. But I trust God. Hallelujah. Roll back the curtains of men. Have God failed you yet? Has he ever failed you? Ah, oh, praise God. He has never failed you. And guess what? He ain't about to fail you now. But you got to trust God. Are you failing God by doubting him? Ah, oh, now I don't doubt him, but I sure don't see it. That but that goat is always there somewhere button. Hallelujah. I come to tell you today, stretch out on faith. Where is your now faith? Where is your now faith? Stop talking and then start walking it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Stretch out on faith. Praise God. Hallelujah. Trust God. His whole household was saved. Praise God. Hallelujah. He stepped out from the pages of the Old Testament to remind him that in his day, only eight people were saved, were right, and all the rest of them were, the world perished. The whole world perished. And his, his eight was in that, in that ark, along with those animals. They was the only one that was saved. But it was too late for them to believe, to believe in that the, the flood had come then. Praise God. Then, and I guarantee they say, oh man, he was right. It's too late. That's a delayed reaction. <laughs> but I come to tell you today, trust God. Uh, this, is, this is a part one. I'm going to have to go to part two next week. But I, I guarantee you, trust God. Get, try God. Try him. When you tried everything, and we used to sing this song years ago. When you tried everything and everything has failed, try Jesus. When the doctor shake his head and walks away from your sick bed, try Jesus. Mm. When your friends is gone and left you standing all alone, try Jesus. Try him. Trust him. Take him at his word. Believe that he's going to bring you through. You're not going to you're not going to fall. You're not going to go through the sin. You're not going to go to trust God because you're going to believe God. 
You been, you're going to shake yourself and say, you know what? I could have had a V8. I trust God. Devil, you is a liar. I'm standing on the wall. I'm getting, I'm, I'm coming out. I'm going to do it. Patty LaBelle or somebody. I'm coming out. I'm coming out of this rut. Because I trust God. God didn't bring me this far to leave me now. God brought me through this and he bring me through that. And I'm so grateful. And we got to trust God. Stand on the word of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We pray, I praise God. And I, I'm going to have to come back next week with part two. But trust God. Stand on the word of God. Take God at his word. Don't doubt him. Don't get, don't get shaken in your faith. Stand on the word of God. Either you believe him or you don't believe him. Without faith, it's impossible to please him. Mm. It, it took faith for Enoch to just be translated. He was translated. He didn't even see death. He was translated. God promised him that he wouldn't see death. And he God kept his promise after 300 years. He kept his promise. Because even down through the time, Enoch didn't give up on what God said. He stood on it. He stood on the word. He stood on what God said. You got to stand on the word. You got to stand on what God says. Hallelujah. I praise the Lord. I, I pray that I said something to encourage your heart on today. Amen. I bless the Lord. God is still good. Amen. He's an on time God. Believe God. Step out on your, hey, step out on your now faith. Not that faith from yesterday. I'm talking about your now faith. What do you believe now? Lord God, I can't stop drinking. God, help me. God, try. I, I trust you, God. Got to do it. You got to believe him. Hallelujah. Separate you from that stuff that will, will, is temptation to you. Huh? Sometimes you got to separate yourself, even from family sometimes. Sometimes you got to separate yourself from friends. Glory be to God. Because you had, you got your, you got your, <laughs> you got heaven in your view. Glory be to God. You got heaven in your view. And you don't want to get caught up and get left back here. Trust me, you don't want to get left back here. Glory be to God. Huh? Sometimes you got to just separate. They may not never understand. They may not understand. Well, she thinks she better. No, that's not the case. That's not the case that I think I'm better than anybody. But I got heaven in my view. And I don't have time for negativity. I don't have time for weak folk. I don't have time for somebody to try to kill my, my kill joy. I don't, I don't have time uh, for joy snatchers that the woman of God would say. That. I don't have time for that because I'm trusting God. I'm believing God. Praise God. Say what you want to say, but I trust God. I know God has never failed me yet. He has always come through for me. Where is your now faith, people of God? Man of God, where is your now faith? Woman of God, where is your now faith? Bishop, where is your now faith? Apostle, where is your now faith? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Where is it, evangelist? Where is it, prophet? Where is your now faith? That's what we're now faith. Hebrews said now faith. Right now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Stand on your faith. Walk by faith day in and day out. Family may not understand why you do things, why you, why you put up with stuff, why you deal with stuff. Hallelujah. But trust God. Ah, I believe in God to, to move on my behalf. I'm believing God to move right on out, the stuff right on out of my way. I'm believing God huh, to save the, the companion. I'm believing God to save the spouse. I'm believing God to save the children. I'm believing God to save the grandchildren. I'm believing God to save mama. I'm believing God to save daddy. I'm believing God. I trust God. I, I, I'm believing God to make a way. I'm believing God to move on my behalf. Sometimes you got to go through your house and, and begin to rebuke all them demons that's been sitting in there trying to help be comfortable. Walk through there in, in, in prayer. Hallelujah. Praying, walking through the house. They ain't got to know what you're saying. You could be talking to the Lord. You ain't got to open up your mouth. But sometimes you got to walk through there and say, God, I clean out anything in here that's not like you. Any spirit that has sneaked up in this house, have took residence up in here. God, I should let your angels catch them out out of here. Get out of your house. Hallelujah. Amen. Not only your natural house, even your spiritual house. Anything that has come and took residence in your heart. Ah, God, cast it out, oh God. Because I want to see you in peace. Ah, because a lot of things people is carrying in their heart, they're going to hell if they don't get delivered. 
Know the word. Know what the word says and still carrying it in their heart. You better get delivered. We never know when Jesus comes. We never know. We never know when is our last breath that we're going to take. But I say today, trust God. Where is your now faith? Know that he is the same God. The same God that he was back in this Old Testament, in the word of God, in Hebrews, as he talked about the patriarch. He the same God, y'all. He ain't no new God. He's the same God. And he changed not. We got to trust him. I, I praise God. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop. I give God praise. Amen. I pray that I said something to just to stir up your mind, to, to stir up that faith on the inside, that trust. Like, yeah, God, I trust you. I got it now. I got it, God. I got it now. I got it, Lord. I trust you, God. I'm standing on the word. I'm standing on what your word says. I'm believing you, God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I pray that I, I've said something that be a blessing to you. Praise God. If you had a problem seeing it, go to my YouTube page. It's the, it's the A that's in the little green circle. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Continue to pray for me that I continue to do the things that God has commanded me to do. Father, we thank you right now for this word. God, we thank you, God. I pray that something has been said to prick the hearts of the people. Oh, God, to shake them up, God, to stir up that faith on the inside, that trust, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. And, and God, I just pray that you don't let them rest until they get that, that faith, that they, they, they trust, that they walk out on that faith, God. Stir with them, God. Go into their homes, anything that's not like you. I ask you to send your angels to go in there to sweep it out, God, in the name of Jesus. And, God, I, I just ask you to just have your way, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Speak to their hearts. God, we give you praise and we give you glory. God, go with them and stand by them, God. And I give you praise for it in Jesus' name. I want y'all to continue to pray for them that I continue to stand and do the things that God has commanded me to do. Amen. Praise God. Be blessed. Amen. Stand on that faith. Believe God. Hallelujah. Not what, what you see, but what you can't see. Hallelujah. But what you can't see, believe God that God's going to work it out. Yes, you've been praying a long time for your children, for your family, for your sister, for your brother, for your daddy, for your mama, for your this and that, for your that, for your grandmama. For your... Yes, trust God. God, you you say you said, Lord, if I live according to your word, you will save my whole household. So I'm standing on the word. I'm standing on your word, God. I'm trusting you. I'm taking you at your word, Lord. Hallelujah. And believe God. Just go about your business. Believe God. Just begin to thank God. Pray the more. Seek the face of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. I pray, I pray, God, I pray I said something. Y'all, this word was good to me today. Praise God. I praise God. Hallelujah. That that you all would, would, would stretch out on faith, to stand out on faith and believe God. God. God is doing some great things in these last and even days. Amen. He's doing some mighty things. He's doing some mighty things for the people of God. Uh, glory to God. And until I, I will be back next week, if thus saith the Lord, amen, with part two. Amen. Wait a minute, that was part two right there. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I just want the people to be encouraged to stretch out on faith because we, we are, we, I'm telling you, that's all we got now. We got all we got is God. And we got to trust God. We, we got to live by faith because everything is going sky high. Hallelujah. I mean, food and everything is going sky high. We better trust God. We better believe God. Hallelujah. All the bills and light bills and all this stuff is going sky high. But we got to trust God. God believe that God is going to take care of his own. I do believe that. That I, I, I can't take down for that. I believe that God is going to take care of his own. Glory be to God. I pray that you have a great weekend. I pray that every service that you'll be in. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. That, that the Lord will bless in a mighty way. Those that can't, can't get into service, that you may be able to get it even over social media. But if you can get in the house, get in the house. But if you can't, you can get There's no excuse. There's no excuse for nobody not getting the word because it's all over. It's on YouTube. It's on everywhere. Yeah, social media. It's, on, it's, on, it's, it's out there. So there's no, there's no excuse. Amen. And I just give God praise. I pray that you have a great weekend. Be safe. Be careful. Amen. Love God. Love on him the more. Love on one another the more. Amen. Praise God. And until next week, y'all continue to pray. But this is Pastor Barnes representing God's House of Deliverance under the leadership of Pastor Monty. And guess what? There's nothing you can do about it but love me back. <laughs>
Amen, amen. Amen. Until next week, praise God. We'll say, be blessed and enjoy Jesus. Love on him. Love on him. Trust him. Stretch out on that now faith. Stretch out on that now faith. Hallelujah. Forget the past. Forget those things which are behind and press forward. Hallelujah. To your kingdom, to your home and glory. Press forward. Get your eye view. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Keep your eyes on the prize. Praise God. This is a whole different message. Okay. All right. Praise God. Until next week. Amen. You be blessed and continue to love on one another. And most of all, continue to love Jesus. And step out on your now faith. Be blessed.